Ever wonder how to check a block heater? Or maybe don't know how? Or maybe you've never done it this way? So let's check out a block heater. So for you guys that don't know, block heater is just an element like this that goes into coolant or into the block, not even all of them go into coolant, that heats your coolant. Warms the coolant up so your engine's easier to start in the wintertime. Got a, you know, you plug it in and it doesn't work, that's a problem. Because if it's really cold, it's much easier on your car to start, or maybe it won't start if you have a diesel truck. This is a 5.9 Cummins. So all of your block heater, all of this works for cars, trucks, equipment, all the same idea. You're all gonna have a cord, and then a block heater that goes somewhere into the engine. So how do you check a block heater cord? Or a block heater, block heater or block heater cord? There's more than one way to do, it so, to do so. Option, well, two options. Well, maybe more, uh, three options, I guess. So there is this unit here, which is designed for checking them. If you want to do a fast check, you know, mechanic or something like that, we used to use the, one of these all the time, or I used to use one of these all the time. You can quickly check, takes two seconds. You don't have to get your multimeter out. Another way is a multimeter. Now, there is a third way, is plug it in and see if you can hear it make noise, because it will make noise. Uh, yeah, I guess I can show this one making noise, but let's check it this way to start with, two different ways. Let's check the easiest way. Now, obviously, if you don't have one of these, I don't know, there's some rattles inside this, it's always been like that. Um, if you don't have one of these little guys, you might have a multimeter. If you don't have a multimeter, this is gonna be cheaper than buying a multimeter if you're just doing this and wanna check it every year. This is gonna be cheaper if you're not a car person, whatever. Um, now, if you're a car person, pretty good chance you have a multimeter. So you'll have a multimeter, you don't need to buy one of these. Now, you can also check it for free. Uh, I'll show you at the end how to do that. But let's check it with one of these. You will need an extension cord already plugged in. You're gonna plug this in and it gives you a green light saying, outlet is powered. I can only plug this in for a second because there's no coolant there and you'll burn the element out if you leave it plugged in very long. But take your other side and plug it in. Red means good. So I think this is a very simple unit. It's just telling you whether there's current going through it. Super simple, right? Now we know that the block heater is good. The core is good and the block heater is good. Now, because we checked it with this, this we know it's good. But if you don't have one of these and you want to check it with a multimeter, let's check it with a multimeter. All right, so you're going to need to grab your multimeter and you're going to need to kind of set it on one of two settings, either the ohm setting or the continuity beeper. Super easy to do. All you have to do is take one lead, it doesn't matter which one, take one lead, touch the other side. If you have that, you're good to go. So if you're checking it, and you go across here and you have nothing, right? Then is it the block heater cord or is it the block heater? There's a couple way, different ways to check here. Now, I just have it unplugged, but just bear with me. Now, if you touch this pole, which is your ground, if you touch here and it, and it rings, the cord is garbage. Um, especially if it's unplugged. Now you've checked this and you have nothing. There's nothing there. What do you do now? How do you check further? For the most part, the easiest thing to do on something like this is going to be just to unplug it like I did. And you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down and you're just gonna to touch those two poles. This is really hard with one hand. and then you know that your block heater is good. If you do that and the block heater does not work, then, or if you don't get anything, it's the block heater that's no good. Now, most of the time, if you buy a block heater, it's gonna come with a new cord. I would put the new cord on and the block heater myself personally, but you don't have to, because sometimes they're snaked into vehicles. They're not that much fun to get out. 
All right, so now you've, you, if you check your block here and you do this and nothing happens with your multimeter or you've checked it with one of those checkers, you kind of have two options. Either there's something wrong with the block heater cord, could even just be the end, or there's something wrong with the block heater itself. Now, the easiest way that I have found to check this part of it, depending on what type of vehicle you're working on, if either way you're going to need to disconnect the block heater. So the easiest way that I've found to do it is you just take your multimeter, you're gonna need a multimeter for this, this part, is you just go across those two poles. This is extremely hard to do with one hand. You're just gonna go across these two poles inside the block heater. That tells me the block heater is good and means your cord is no good. Now, if it's a really short cord and you can get the cord out easy, you can just test the cord based on the same kind of idea. Is all you have to do is just go across. You just test one of these wires. And if you don't know which is which, it's not a big deal. You just go across and go, oh, that one works. And, oh. That one doesn't work, that one works. So that tells you, and then also too, you can check the ground if you want. It's actually not a bad idea for the ground to work too. That tells you the ground is good. Now, so that would tell you the, the core is good, but most of the time, you're well, you're gonna have to unplug it to find that out, right? So yeah, it is what it is. But another way too, if, you, if you're plugging it in and it blows the breaker right away, if you can unplug the block heater, unplug the block heater, plug your cord back in. If it blows it again, you know it's the cord. If it doesn't blow it, then you know it's the block heater. Sometimes they, they shrapnel inside and they, they short to ground, which is the reason you wanna have that ground pole because otherwise it'll shock you or can shock you. So another way to test, um, the easiest way, you don't need any tools, all you need is a plug or all you need is your cord to plug it in, is you just plug it in and listen. Now, what we're gonna do is because I don't have coolant in this, but this will give you a good instance to, to be able to hear the noise that it makes, right? So I have a cup of water, good old Tim Hortons cup for my Canadians, Tim, Hort Tim Hortons cup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this block here out quick. Hopefully you'll be able to hear it. Actually, funny enough, in that short period of time, it made that cup of water warm, like a good lukewarm. So hopefully this will keep you guys um, from having to be like this guy. What happens? No convy sauce at all? Let's just see if she'll crank. And your car will start, or your truck will start. Pretty easy to check. Like I said, your easiest is just to plug it in and listen. But if it, that, and that's if you don't have any tools or you know you think there's something wrong, now you know how to check it. If you don't have the tools, maybe hit up one of your buddies, local automotive shop, whatever. Somebody will be able to get you fixed up. So if you like this video, check out this one.